This is activity two, telling temperatures from lesson one, number puzzles, and unit four, linear equations and linear systems. And this is an extension of activity two, where I solve the problem four different ways by changing x to equal each runner. I think that the natural choice for x is Lin's run, because that's what you are asked to find. How far did Lin run? But when I did the problem, I didn't choose x as Lin's run. I chose x for Diego. wasn't really thinking about it very much. I looked at the problem. Lin ran twice as far as Diego, so I'm going to make Diego x. That makes Lin 2x. And Jada ran 300 meters less than Diego, so Jada is x minus 300 and Noah ran three times farther than Jada. So Noah is three times x minus 300, and that equals 1,200 meters. If you make Lin equal to x, then Diego is one half of Lin's run, or one half x, and Jada is 300 meters less than Diego. So it's one half x minus 300, and Noah is three times farther than Jada. So it's three times one half x minus 300 equals 1,200. So over here, Diego is equal to x. That makes Jada equal to x minus 300. Jada is equal to 400 meters because it's one third of Noah's run. So Diego is 300 meters farther than Jada, so 700 meters. And Lynn is two times Diego's run. So two times 700 is 1,400 meters. Same idea over here. Jada is one-third Noah's run, so Jada is one-half x minus 300. That's Jada's expression. That equals 400. Diego is 300 meters more than Jada, so add 300 meters here. Add 300 meters here, so you get Diego's expression, one-half x equals 700 meters. And Lynn ran twice as far, so two times one-half is one, so x is equal to two times 700 or 1,400 meters. So at this time, you can practice a little bit of algebra. You have several expressions and several values that those expressions are equal to. So here's an expression for Noah, three times x minus 300 equals 1,200, an expression for Jada, an expression for Lin. If you choose any one of these expressions and the value for that expression, you can solve for x and you know what the answer is supposed to be, so it's a nice way to practice this practice in context. So this is Noah. So 3 times x minus 300 equals 1,200. Solve for x. So this is using the distributive property, adding 900 to 1,200, and x equals 700. So 1 third of 2,100 equals 700. Over here, same idea, a bunch of different expressions and their values. So Jada's expression, 400, Diego's expression, 700, and Noah's expression. It looks pretty tough, so practice it, try it. So three times one half x minus 300 equals Noah's run, 1,200 meters. So three halves x, so this is using the distributive property, three halves x minus 900, three times 300 is 900 equals 1,200. Add that 900, you get the same 2,100 here. 3 halves x equals 2,100. So 3x is equal to 2 times that amount. And x is equal to 1 third of 4,200 or 1,400 meters for lin. So it makes sense. Now you could have, at this point, multiplied by the multiplicative inverse of 3 halves, which is 2 thirds. So 2 thirds times 3 halves x, well 2 thirds times 3 halves is equal to 1. Think about that for a minute. Picture 3 halves and 2 of those 3 halves is equal to 1. So 2 thirds times 3 halves x is equal to x, and that x is equal to 2 thirds of 2,100. Well, 2 thirds of 2,100 is 2,100 divided by 3. That's equal to 700. And 2 of those 700s equals x, which is 1,400. 2 times 700 equals 1,400. I know that this is tough and takes a lot of words to explain, but with practice, you will get it. So let's make Jada equal to x. 
That means that Diego is 300 meters more than Jada, so Diego is x plus 300. Lin is two times farther than Diego, so that's two times this expression for Diego. And Noah is three times what Jada ran. So Noah is 3x equals 1,200. So we know that x is equal to 400 because it's one-third of 1,200. And so Jada is equal to x. Diego is x plus 300, or 700 meters. And Lynn is twice that far, 1,400 meters. So again, here are several expressions and their equivalent values. So Lynn's expression is the most interesting, so let's practice with that. So 2 times this amount, this is Diego, is equal to 1,400. And I'm using the distributive property. You could divide through by 2. So that would make it x plus 300 equals 700. And so then x would be equal to 400. Or use the distributive property. So 2x plus 600 equals 1,400 meters. Subtract the 600 or add a negative 600. So 2x is equal to 800 meters, and x is equal to 400 meters. So the same idea with Noah equal to x. And they give you Noah's run in the problem. So x equals 1,200. So Jada's run is one-third that length, or 400 meters. Diego is 300 meters farther. So 400 plus 300 is 700 meters. And Lynn is two times Diego's run. So 2 times 700 is 1,400 meters. So here are a number of expressions and their equivalent values. And so Lin's expression, once again, is the most interesting. So let's practice with that. I'm going to use the distributive property once again. 2 times 1 third is 2 thirds x. And 2 times 300 is 600. That equals 1,400 meters. I could just divide through by 2 or multiply by 1 half, that would give me 1 third x plus 300, which is Diego's run, and that's equal to 700 meters. So then subtract the 300, so you have 1 third x equals 400 meters. So 1 third of some number equals 400, that makes that number 1,200 meters, which is Noah's run. So 3 times 400 is 1,200. Or using the distributive property, 2 thirds x plus 600 equals 1,400. 2 thirds x is equal to 800. So 2 thirds of some number is equal to 800. So 2x, multiply this by 3, 2x is equal to 2,400. So 2 times that same number is equal to 2,400. And so that number is x is equal to 1,200. Let's go back to here just for a moment. 2 thirds of some number is equal to 800. So take 1,200, divide it by 3, that's 400. And 2 of those 400s is equal to 800. So take 800, divide it by 2, that's 400. And 3 of those 400s is equal to 1,200. Hope that's not too confusing. Just have to practice thinking through it.